Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to your full moon reading. This reading is being done at the last full moon of the year, right after the winter solstice. So we'll see how that energy plays into your message. So this is a timeless reading, even though we're doing it at the end of the year during a full moon. You can receive this message whenever it comes your way. So the way this works is you will choose one of these cards and then look in the description box below for a link to that reading. All right, so for the first card, we have Tree of Life, Conception, and for the second card, we have East, Emergence and for the third card we have Conch Shell Calling. So you may already know which card you want to choose, but I'm also going to be drawing a room to go along with each card. So we have the sickle, endings, and for the second card, we have crossroads, beginnings. Interesting, we have endings and beginnings. And for the last card, we have Romance or Relationships. All right, so based on uh, the image, the words, or the room, or all of the above, just use your intuition to choose whichever card draws you the most, find your link below and I'll see you there. Welcome pile number one. I'm just going to clear this space for you and reset the cards with these shaman stones. All right, you chose the tree of life conception as well as I call this the sickle in the intro but it's also a scythe and we're going to use the crystal tarot cards to find out what messages you are receiving during this full moon at the end of the year. Let's see what we have. Wands, five of wands. I love these tarot cards because each one of them has a crystal. And the book that comes with it has something to say about that crystal. You also have nine of pentacles. Six of Wands. So you have five of Wands and six of Wands. Really nice. And two of Pentacles. Very nice. All right. And of course, because it's the full moon, we have these Moonology Messages Oracle Cards.
All right, we have focus, men beings. Support, moon guides. Take a risk, moon flower. And synchronicity, the moon's moment. All right, give me just a moment to look at these cards and see how they're working together to bring you your message. Okay, as I mentioned, I am doing this reading during the full moon and it's the last full moon of the year. And whenever there is a full moon, what happens afterwards is the moon begins to wane, which, which means it starts to look like it's getting smaller and smaller. So it's a time of releasing. And what I see that you're releasing is some sort of conflict or confusion that you've been experiencing. So the conflict can be an internal conflict or it could be a conflict with someone else but it is causing some kind of struggle or, or confusion. The Five of Wands is all about conflict. What's interesting is that you have Wands, Pentacles, Wands, Pentacles. So it's like uh, working, manifesting, working, manifesting. And what's gonna happen when you release this conflict and if it's in the form of, you know, uh, a conflict with another person, then I see you just sort of letting go, okay? Whether that means letting go of a relationship or letting go of uh, control for a moment of whatever the situation is, whatever the conflict is. Sometimes we get stuck on uh, a way of doing something that we forget about what the end goal was. So it doesn't matter how you get there so much as, as long as you get there. So I see you releasing this need to control the process and instead allowing a new process to unfold. And so when you let go of this desire to stay with a specific method f towards this goal, or possibly for some of you, it, it is a person. This is a general reading. It could be a person that you're letting go of. What that's gonna do in either case is it's gonna open up space for new methods of how to do things or uh, new relationships. So here we see a person by themselves and here we see three people. So again, this for some of you, it is a relationship, but it's going to be a good thing to let go of it. And for others, it's not a relationship, but it is just um, holding on to a specific way to doing thing, doing things. And the way to navigate this in a healthy and productive way is to focus on what's working. So if it's a creative project, for example, or some kind of project at work, look at the blessings and look at what is working right. Look at all of the positives and focus on that. And that's going to help you get past this little hump of um, kind of being confused and conflicted, whether it's with another person or with yourself. You have the tree of life conception. So really, I feel like for many of you and with all these 
with the wands and the pentacles, I feel like for the majority of you, this has to do with work or some kind of creative project. And so uh, you have this idea, right? This is the at the beginning of the reading. You have this idea to create something. But what you want to do is nurture this seed of your idea. And the way to, that you do that is by seeing the positives of it. So just like if you had a plant and, you know, it's growing, people talk to their plants and see what's beautiful and, um, you know, uh, recognize and appreciate the beauty, the blossoms, the growth, that is going to be key in you transcending this conflict you know same with people if you're if you have a child and you want them to grow and learn then you encourage them in a nurturing way rather than focusing on their mistakes so i see that that is what's ending is cutting this away so whether it's you focusing on your own mistakes or your own shortcomings or you being in conflict with somebody else doing that. I see that being released. That's being cut away. And then your focus is shifting. So then again, when we get to, you know, nine of pentacles is very beautiful. So letting this go is going to open up space for abundance. A physical abundance of resources for some of you finances but also relationships and it's going to be improved relationships with new people and improve relationship with yourself the six of wands is uh, bringing balance and moving forward so it's like you're working so hard and there was all this struggle with the five of wands and you've gotten past that now because you were able to release what was holding you back. You were able to find um, people and ideas and energy that worked better to nurture this seed of conception. And now things are starting to work the way that you want. So beneath that we have take a risk. So after you get past this, then you're going to receive some idea, something that you're not seeing yet because you have to let go of this first to create the space for this new information, this new energy to come in. And then once you do that, it's going to open up. And this card down here is saying to take a risk. Then that will be the time to take action. Once you've balanced yourself and things are starting to move forward, that will be the time to take a risk. And then two of pentacles is all about the balance that you will receive as a result of this. And once you start nurturing this seed and seeing everything that's working in yourself, what you're doing right, what the people that you're working with, if it's a situation where you're working with other people, when you focus on what they're doing right, on their positive attributes and what they're bringing to the project, once your focus is on that, you're going to see this amazing growth and all of these synchronicities. So things are just going to start to fall into place and it's just going to feel like magic. It's going to feel surreal. Everything's just going to come together for you. That is beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Please let me know what project you are working on and how this resonates for you. Thank you so much for listening. That is your full moon reading. Bye. Hello and welcome pile number two. You chose the East Emergence card as well as the Crossroads. I'm going to clear your space before we begin with these Shaman Stones.
So interesting combination here because this rune crossroads is what it sounds like being at a crossroads, right? Not being sure which direction to go in, which choice to make. And here we have East, a direction, emergence. So we'll see how that message plays into the rest of your message. So we are looking for Pile 2's full moon message about which direction to move in. These are the Crystal Tarot. We have the King of Cups. Very interesting. The Ten of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Hanged Man. deck I'm using is Moonology Messages. We have Moon Set Releasing. Follow the moon, watch for signs. The moon's moment, synchronicity. Full moon forgiveness. Wow. Okay, let me take a moment to see what these mean. Okay, there are a lot of messages about taking time to decide. So definitely it feels, I feel the crossroads that you're at. It's with this King of Cups being here first. It's like all of this energy has converged upon you at once. And maybe some of you are even feeling overwhelmed. Uh, but the good news is that you're going to be moving out of that very soon. And the way that, that, that you're going to be moving out of that is by releasing the need to control it. Uh, sometimes we want to oversee things because it makes us feel safer. And sometimes when we're feeling overwhelmed, you know, we try to scramble to take charge and and control everything because it makes us feel like it's more predictable the outcome will be more predictable but instead in this change whatever these I feel that it's more than one change that you're being you're receiving at once and so whatever this change or changes are that you are encountering at this time what the cards are saying is to, you know, relinquish and release uh, any kind of fear that you have. And because that's why we, we want to control is because we have this fear. Just relinquish that and trust that the universe is taking care of you. Trust that things are working for you and they're not working you know, against you or they're not happening to you. They're happening for you. It's the universe conspiring to bring you something amazing. And once you release that fear, then you're going to open up space for all kinds of abundance. And there's a strong message here from your guides, your ancestors, your angels, that they are sending you signs and, and maybe the signs are butterflies 
uh, they are sending you signs and synchronicity. I think for some reason the color yellow is very significant too. So whether it's yellow flowers or pictures with yellow, they are sending you signs and synchronicities uh, to let you know that they are there supporting you and to assure you that all this change is, is going to work out. So you just have to kind of let go of your fear, let go and trust that everything's going to work out because it is. The Ten of Pentacles is uh, an amazing card to receive. It's things coming to fruition, right? It's the blessings. So just know that it is going to work out. You don't have to worry. Relinquish that fear, that need, and things are going to work out. You also have this East Emergence. And this card is all about um, meditating. And we have the Hanged Man, which could also be about meditating. So if you're not already doing it, you may want to keep a dream journal because your guides are speaking to you in your dreams. Your ancestors are speaking you, to you in your dreams. Your subconscious is trying to bring you clarity in the situation. If you do need to make a decision as to which direction to go, part of what you're receiving in signs and synchronicities is coming in your sleep. So start to keep a dream journal and as you write these things down and go back and read them and even maybe say them out loud, you're going to have an understanding as to what it is you're supposed to do next. But this is a very positive card saying that clarity is coming to you. You just have to be open to receive it. And the the synchronicities is, you know, also confirmation that the timing is right. Even though it may feel like uh, everything's happening at once, the timing is right. And you have the queen of pentacles. So this is, you know, nurturing and blessed uh, and blessed not only in resources, but in relationships. So that is a very good uh, card and very good placement. So for some of you, there may be a, a relationship, some kind of little rift. I don't think that's for everyone, but there is a message here about forgiveness and it could also be forgiving yourself for something. But this is under the outcome and look at this big full moon. So I see that forgiveness coming very easily and it could also be as a result once you relinquish you know this fear and this control then um, that's also going to make space for this forgiveness and part of it is going to come from not only the meditation but also from a change in perspective that's what the hangman is about and part of that change in perspective is just simply understanding that you are being supported. The universe is supporting you, your guides, your angels, your ancestors, your past on loved ones. They are all there on the other side supporting you during this time where it may feel, you know, a little bit overwhelming. So just that simple shift and understanding that things are happening for you and not to you is going to make all the difference in the world and bring you the clarity that you need at this crossroads to head in the east towards the rising sun and the new horizons. What a beautiful message. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your full moon reading. I am just clearing the space with these shamanic stones before we begin. You chose the conch shell calling. 
as well as this rune, Romance and Relationships. So we will see how that relates to the rest of your message. I'm going to draw some cards from this crystal tarot. came out. All right. I'll use those. All right. Let's see what we have. Four of Pentacles. Very nice. The world. All right. Queen of Pentacles. And Two of Pentacles. All right. These came out in, I want to say it was card number one's reading. Um, there may be a message there for you. If it's not card number one, card number two, I can't remember now. We shall see. All right, I'm also going to pull out some of these moonology messages, oracle cards. If you hear a noise in the background, that is my dog. This is done, this reading is being done during the last full moon of the year right after the winter solstice and full moons are all about release they're also about illumination but this is done at the time of the waning of the moon which means the moon is starting to in appearance shrink in the sky so um it's a good time to release things. And so that noise that you heard was my dog running out of the room. So let's see. Moon, Moonlight Enchanted. Very nice. Cold Moon, Face Your Fears. And this certainly is the cold moon uh, that we're in right now at the end of the year right after winter solstice moon cycles patience and moon flower take a risk yes definitely I would say you may if you felt drawn to one of the other readings you may get some more information there because there are some cards uh, and themes that are similar. All right, let me take a moment to check these out and see what they mean as they come out together. Let me just meditate on this. Okay, this first card really is setting the tone for your whole reading with calling. There is something calling you or you have a calling and for some reason you're not pursuing it. Maybe you're busy or uh, you don't think that it's practical, but if you do pursue it, it's, it is going to be very rewarding for you. So the Four of Pentacles is all about stability. And Pentacles, of course, are about resources and finances uh, in the physical realm. It's physicality. So what you're doing, what you're putting your energy in is kind of, you know, playing it safe, right? You're, um, we have the number four because what's stable you know, like a chair or a table, it has four legs and that's what gives it stability. And so 
what you're doing is maybe you're you're working really hard to you know put bread on the table to provide uh, whatever the case may be but and it doesn't have to be a job for everyone it could be some other aspect of your life but I am seeing these pentacles you're basically playing it safe and maybe some of you are even um, a little stubborn <laughs> I don't like to say that but here's the good news is with this full moon beginning to wane I see that energy being released you are shifting and you're now looking to new horizons okay and you are going to be taking a risk all right over here we have take a risk moonflower take a risk and the queen of pentacles is saying you're doing fine you are going to be fine in whatever you do now there you may want to you know if you have money in your savings or whatever um don't drain your savings and you know just start this new thing because a lot of times you know a new business does require some kind of investments um, or some time to grow which is why we have this patience and it may not be um, a business it could be a new career right and so maybe uh, some of you are thinking about switching jobs but you think oh but this job that I'm at now pays a little more or it seems like the safer bet this other job seems impractical but what the universe is telling you is that you have a calling and if that job seems more appealing to you, more exciting, more interesting. You feel more passionate about whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a job. I'm just using that as an example. Then that's what you should do is follow that calling because it is going to provide that stability in the end. You are going to have everything. And by letting go of this um, belief system that, you know, you need to play it safe. Um, it, you're going to open up to the whole world and you see that the world has all of these elements and so by playing it safe you're actually limiting yourself and once you release that you're going to be open up to so many more opportunities and ways of thinking and doing and receiving so it's it's all positive uh, you know it could be a little scary but you have here face your fears and um, enchanted is talking about you know returning to that childlike faith it's talking about the inner child so what I'm getting is there's something that for some of you you may want it you may have wanted to do even as a child something that you know you've been interested in for a long child time or it's something that your inner child loves and so what is the inner child the inner child is the playful child it's the creative child it's the spiritual child that lives inside of all of us these are different aspects of humans that all human beings have and so by nurturing that you you will find stability and you will find all kinds of rewards that you will love and in the long run it's going to be more beneficial to you than the safe bet and i'm not worried about any of you um staying in that because i see this releasing this energy releasing and then we have this which is all about love and connection relational harmony um, it, again, this is something that you love. So you are definitely going to enjoy whatever this new path is for you. I'm so excited for you. If you have been thinking about pursuing something new or you've been offered something, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear more about what this new phase is in your life. It sounds amazing. I hope that you enjoyed your message. What a wonderful release and what a new, beautiful new energy coming in. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I appreciate you.
Have an amazing journey. Thank you. Bye.